Hi everyone, it's Kay here. Thank you very much for joining me today while I start making a sewing journal. Now I'm going to use the pattern box to uh, support it and I've got a few other things to go with it. This is the first time I've done anything like this so we'll just have to see see how we go. I've not made a sewing journal before. I've got, I haven't taken the papers out so I'm just going to take the papers out. I'll probably use some of these um, things in the journal like that particular section. Going by the um, style, it looks like the uh, oh, looks like 1960, no, looks, uh, late 50s or 60s. It says um, copyright 1962, so maybe it's 1962. So I'm going to make that um, retro kind of journal. But the box is too big, and to make a journal, I want to use this at the front and that as the back. So I have to, I'm going to have to cut this off very carefully because I want to be able to use this somewhere. So let's do that first. Um, oops, scissors get caught up everywhere. So I hope you're doing well and taking care of yourselves with lots of COVID cases at the moment. And And I'm very well and truly over our RSV virus that we had. It was but um, lacking in a bit of uh, motivation to sort of do a lot. But uh, the weather hasn't been helpful either, really. Um, yes, I do want to take that off. Probably not very straight are the wearing cuttings here. Do straight in a minute. Just put that to one side. And I don't want I don't want the the thickness of the box. So we'll um, I'm going to just cut the box as well and put the because the last couple times I've used a box I've used this as a spine but I don't want to have it such a big spine. I was asking my friend about um, sewing machines because I've never had one of my own and um, a long time ago my husband and I were sent to a, a town called Woodna for teaching because um, he got given a number and my husband's number came out, up, which meant we had to go somewhere in the country. Uh, so we applied for a variety of places and um, got sent to Woodland, which is on the Air Peninsula in South Australia. And I uh, taught for a year and then we already talked about when we were going to have children. And so... We decided to have our child the second we decided to sort of try for a baby. And anyway, while I was pregnant, the home economics teacher at the school was running sewing classes at night. And I said to her, Can I come? You know, like, can anybody go? I said, I've got no idea how to operate a sewing machine. So she said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's fine. So I made a few basic things, various. Um, straight sewing <laughs> kind of thing. I made a little quilt for um, the baby to be's cot uh, crib, the, the bassinet thing that I had first. And um, what else did I make? I can't remember what else I made. I made. I made. I can't remember what else I made. I think I made made a whole pillowcase and whatever as well. And I haven't touched a sewing machine, machine since. So, look, I'm 65. 
they were, I, oh, how old was I then? 26, 27? No, nearly 20 years ago. It's a long time. So let's measure this. Just wanted to sort of, not even. So I, I said I haven't so I haven't used some machines soon. So I was asking this friend of mine how fiddly it was because I've noticed that um, when it comes to really fiddly things, I get a, I, I get a bit flustered and a bit frustrated. So when everything's got wrong, <laughs> when I can't work out things, why why is going wrong on YouTube and things like that, I get it. And my husband said, "Are you talking to me? You wanted my help?" And I said, "No, no, just ignore me. I'm just trying to work out what I'm doing here. It's just." I, mean, I think I might like quite, quite like that little edge in there. I might just use that as a little edge. So we'll just keep that there. And we just might, I might just tidy this up so we get a bit of a better idea. So I was asking how fiddly it was to do um, the bobbin and the, and the uh, threading the needle and all that sort of stuff. Because um, one thing, no, another thing is that my eyesight is not as good as it used to be for seeing those fine things. And... Um, she said, oh, it can be a bit tricky, and I'm thinking, oh, do I really want to have a sewing machine? Do I really want to do it? Because I was thinking more of having a sewing machine for doing this, for this kind of uh, journal work, and for doing, you know, like using on pages and one and thing, and uh, tags and journaling cards. I just thought it would be really nice to have a, I did buy a stitching stamp, and I've been using that, and that's been working fine. But I just wondered whether it would look, because it would actually help with the whole holding everything down as well in, in, in a sort of secure way. I don't know if I got that straight. Let's have a look. And then I thought, oh, do I really, you know, like I'm just, I'm not comfortable. I don't, I'm not familiar with it. I don't know how to use it really comfortably. You know, like I remember she was there the whole time, the teacher, and I go to this, I was like, how do you do, you know, like, get a bit stuck, you know, and I wasn't sure about how to fix it. I don't know machines are better now, but I just, I don't feel confident about getting one. And it would be just for journaling, and I'm thinking, yeah, do I really, really want one that much? But I won't be sewing for anything else. I did make a, um, uh, a quilt for our double bed when I was younger using um, quilting patterns. So I did that all by hand. I sewed everything by hand. I must have been mad. <laughs> it held together all right for all for a number of years and then it sort of started coming away to see I wasn't a very good hand so then. <laughs> mm. Some people do, they, they say, I'm taking this off the sewing machine, and they, feel so, they look so confident about it, and some of the things they use on their um, journals, and they look really fantastic, they do look fantastic. And they certainly add something to the page, so I'm still, I'm just worried about that, not being able to see, to thread the needle, and getting frustrated with threading the needle. I know you can buy those at all threading devices to help you. I don't even know if I can see the dark, the eye for me to thread that through either, so I don't know. The jury is out. Still deliberating, and I've been deliberating for over a year now. <laughs> um, yes, well, when you not feel confident about something, I just, um, it's funny, because like I'll, I just started making junk journals and I didn't seem to be worried about that as much. I think it's because to me, a journal is like a big, um, it's like a big, uh, I'll do it this side so I can see them, so I'll make sure I'm not cutting anything off here. It's like a big uh, card, really, and because um, I'm a card maker originally, um, I didn't think it was going to be. Uh, Two step, uh, a step too far. So 
there was something like making the ephemera is always interesting but um time consuming because <laughs> i like to make intricate ephemera apart from the easy tags so i'm just just drawing lines here because i just don't want to use the uh, my trimmer in case um i catch it and it whole lot bunches up and breaks so that's why i'm ruling lines I'm doing it the old-fashioned way and cutting it so every time I go to spotlight to buy my papers and glue and double-sided tape it's always been me sitting at this table looking at the pattern catalogues to choose patterns and then off they go and buy the material and I really admire those people who make their own clothes it's just I think oh they're so clever I'm sure we've all got something that we're um can do well I don't think that's straight I don't think that is level. I think it's sort of going weirdly. Let's have a look. Mm, no, I just didn't think it was straight. It's straight, but it's um, not level. Is that the word I'm looking for? That's straight on the other side. That's one good thing about these mats, with these you can have lines just sort of line up where you think you should be. So I'm using the lines on my glass mat here to help me with the... Oh, right. Just be careful. So my husband's um, one of four and he's the... Tony's the eldest. And uh, three of them, including us, live in Adelaide. And the other one lives in Queensland. And he came uh, yesterday. We all had, went out for tea. You know, Tony's second brother next to him, who's the same age as me. And the one from Queensland. And the youngest one um, wasn't able to make it because uh, he's... Um, on kidney dialysis and uh, he's not confident about going anywhere because he's so vulnerable to getting anything so he doesn't really like going to lots of crowded places for that reason I don't think he's been very far anywhere really so anyway well so I'm going to do that and I'm just going to show you I don't want to take to, I was going to stick that on and do the front cover and I'll show you the papers that I'm going to use in the journal i'll probably add some more like i normally do because i never think it's enough <laughs> and i probably haven't got enough out <coughs> so yeah so he's um got a partner they don't have any children from, she's got children from a previous relationship and he's got children from a previous relationship so it was just the two of them and Well, the cousins were able to get like uh, uh, the one of the four brothers like Tony we've, we've got two girls not girls but two women young women and um, the next one Chris he's got two young women as well but one of them's got COVID so she couldn't make it the other one came and David the one from Queensland like I said he didn't have any children and the youngest one, because he's got kidney and his wife didn't come, and their daughter, um, she's a manager where she works uh, at a hotel and was asked to fill in, backfill somebody, so she wasn't able to make it either. But it was nice, it was nice, you know, it was nice. And the grand, well, our grandkids were there. We've got three grandkids. It was nice, it was nice. Yeah, but it was so busy, 
so so busy. We had to wait age. We had to wait a long time for our food. And by the time you get your food, because you've waited so long, you don't really feel like it anymore. <laughs> So, Tony and uh, two of the brothers that were there last night have gone to um, the sea to disperse their father's ashes because um, David wasn't able to get here for the funeral because we had lockdown. Nobody, would, you know, not um, people from interstate weren't allowed when when my father-in-law died. So he couldn't come to the funeral and um, so we're going to do the ashes this morning. <sighs> just the four of them, just to remember him. My father-in-law was... I'm 94 when he, when, he, when he died, so that's a pretty good long life. So after this, it was such a gloomy day, like I said yesterday, and all the lights were on. But today. I've got my craft uh, light on. Hopefully it's not so glary because the other day I did Marguerite Miller challenge and it was just too glary. <coughs> too glary. Right. So the sun is out today so I might go for a walk shortly. Just do this, just hit this here. Down the bottom. It's not, that's not straight either. Oh well. Straight up in a minute. In the middle. All right, so we're going to do the, the back part of that pattern on the other one. So I'm not going to show you that today because that could be a bit boring watching me stick things on. So I'm going to use this paper for the front. If I've got any less that goes going to go in the journal too. I'm going to use some of this, which should be perfect for the pattern for the book for the journal I'm making. Might have to cut that up a little bit smaller because it's a bit big in general as is. So I have to think about where I'm going to cut that to um, put the journal. That'd be perfect. So I'll use some of that. I'm not too sure whether I'll use this on some tags and that. We'll decide that in a minute. We've got some um, watercolour paper sheets because just to give it a bit of texture I've got I've chosen these two pages out of a um, children's storybook because I felt that the blue matched the blue of her dress um, the blues in that picture and I just thought the picture itself was sort of like about that um, era of the sewing pattern I've got these sewing pages from a, a book that I got uh, from Facebook Mark I chose this colour to sort of match her her shirt dress. So I'm gonna put that in as well. And then I'm going to show you the the collection that I got bought to help me make this journal and probably make a couple of them. It's a <coughs> sorry. It's a Cartabella. It's Cartabella, what did I say? Cartabella something. I can't remember. Isn't that terrible? Cartabella Craft and Craft. And as you can see, this is the sticker sheet. And it has got other things on there besides sewing. It's got lots of sewing machines. Over. Lots of sewing items. In sewing machines, spools, pin cushion, um, spools, cut it out, some words that I can use. Um, so that that'll be good, and the paper I've cut up, cut up some of it already. This was uh, like it's got buttons, some sewing thread. Obviously, some I uh, can't use in the spool top. Like this, this is paint, so I might use that side for helping me make um, some elements. 
it's a whole like there's lots of little pictures that I thought when I saw it advertised this took ages to get here because it was the only one we could I could find and it came through Amazon and I think it was sort of it, but it wasn't Amazon itself it was a company that sells through Amazon and it just took ages to get here absolutely ages but nobody had it in Australia so so we've got some perfect things that would go really well in the in the journal that I could use. Some sewing cards, strips from the bottom. I've got buttons on that one. So those little bits and pieces I'll use to make um, uh, clusters. So because all of that side's got things not to do with sewing, I'm going to use like those buttons on that side. It's perfect for the journal. So to use a journal and card on the back so I might have to choose which side I'm going to use <laughs> I might have to if I use that side so I think I like that one and if I have to cover it with some plain paper mannequin oh. I should have showed it to you first before I cut it up the trouble is I start cutting things up at night when watching TV so these are strips that were in the kit as well some scissors some spools Pretty paper and some more sewing things and pattern buttons measuring tape some skeins of embroidery thread that's just some colored paper and so the same as this one just to go in your journal another one I'd rather be sewing <laughs> I think it's good and I probably won't use any of those but I can use the back for the spools as well and then this this is the rest of the collection sorry bit of a mess this is just the front cover I might be able to use, do that with something with that and can use some of those things as well and if I don't like to use all of them but I probably wouldn't use this one here or this one um, it's got a lovely bright pattern on the back to use for the journal. Sewing machines, some check, check paper, flowers, make it pretty, and that's on the other side. Some spools, and some flowers on that side too. Some check paper, tartan paper, paper, and some scissors on the other side. Some flowers and just some diamonds on that side lots of words which we could use with a cut now I'll just use it as this or I quite like that side the, the uh, check paper and I wouldn't use this side but um, I, I would use that side little dots so anyway hopefully uh, I'll make a bit of a start with the journal and you can see if we can do some of the things together and some of the things I'll do off camera so that it doesn't take quite so long you sitting there get, <laughs> looking at what I'm doing because sometimes it can be a bit boring just watching people stick and glue and it depends I suppose on, uh, on yourself. I mean I, I like doing it watching myself but um, yes uh, people might just find that not very interesting thank you very much for joining me today give me the thumbs up and please make a comment and I hope to see you next time thank you very much for joining me today bye